Okay, welcome to Python for Java Coders part 10. In this part, I'll talk about how to do keyboard input in Python. And you'll be pleasantly surprised, I don't know, uh, to know that it's a lot easier than doing it in Java. But it has a little couple little gotchas. So let's take a look here. So I've created a short little Java program here. And again, I'm assuming you know Java already. I'm using the scanner class. I've created a scanner object. And then I have three variables, uh, a string called name, an integer called age, and a double called height. And I'm using the scanner class to get that information from the user. So next line gets us a string, next int gets us an int, and next double gets us a double. And I'm just printing it out here. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So it's gonna ask me, what is your name? Eventually. My name is Christian. Okay, how old are you? I just turned 48 this month. And how tall are you? I'm 175.0 centimeters, give or take. And so it just prints out that same information. So let's go ahead and do the same thing over here in Python. Now, Python, I don't need to import anything. It just works. Okay? I don't need to define my variables ahead of time. Easy peasy. I don't actually even need to print it out first. Watch what I do here. So name equals input quotation marks what is your name question mark and I always like to put that little thing at the end okay and I'm going to go ahead and put age equals input how old are you question and age and height equals input how tall are you And then I just go ahead and print it out. Uh, go ahead, I'm gonna put name. And don't forget that little thing, and then age and height. And I'm gonna use the format method. And it's gonna be age, sorry, name, age, and height. And that's the whole program, basically. Uh, let's go ahead and run that. My name is Christian. My age, as I mentioned, I just turned 48, and I am 175.0 centimeters. And I forgot to put a little space there. And you can see it prints out the exact same output, which is pretty cool. Um, that is one of the strong benefits of Python. You can do a lot of things really quickly, really efficiently, as compared to our little friend Java over here. Now, there is one very, very, very big gotcha that you have to be careful of. Okay. Over here in Java, if I use next line, and I've already declared that name is a string, I know this is a string. Okay. I know that age is an int, and I know that height is a double. Okay. So it is automatically converted to the appropriate type. In Python, it is different. In this example, age is a string. Even though I entered a number, it's a string in the computer's memory. Height is a string. Even though I entered it as a float, remember it's called a float in Python, it is not a float as far as type goes, it is a string. So if I did this as a test, so let's say let's print name plus name, see what happens. Print age plus age, and print height plus height. And go ahead and run that. And, oops. and you can see it is treating these as strings. So if I did something like, so if I did, if age equals 25, it's never going to work because it's expecting a string. Okay, so you gotta be careful with that. Now what we need to do is to convert it, we need to cast it. Okay, so I want this to be an int, so I'm gonna put int and put it in parentheses. Remember, in Java, when we cast, we put it, we do it like this before the variable, but in Python, it is, it's, a, it's basically a function, so int, parentheses, and parentheses. Height, we want it to be a float, so I shouldn't delete that, and we would wrap that in parentheses. So let's, I'm gonna put that back, I'm not sure why I deleted it. I'll put name times two, print uh, age times two, 
and print height times two. Let's go ahead and run that and see what we get this time. Oh, I spelled it wrong, it's okay. Age is 38. And how tall are you? I am 5.0. And you can see now this was treated as a string. And because you can actually multiply strings and just prints out multiple copies in Python. And here 48 was multiplied by 2, and, four, and 175 was multiplied by 2. So I converted it. As soon as I inputted it, I converted it to a, uh, an integer. Now, the only thing you have to watch with that is if I don't enter a number, you get an error because you can't convert ALFKJD into an integer. So there's other things you have to do to, to make sure that doesn't happen. So that's the gist of it. That's basically how it works. Um, so getting input in Python is far, far easier, but you do have to pay attention to the type because you're always going to get a string no matter what. So the equivalent over here would be like putting next line and next line instead of next int and next double. Okay, and then you'd have to convert it using probably the integer class or the double class. Okay, so that is it. Uh, easy peasy. Uh, subscribe for updates and stay tuned. Take care.